Hello guys, welcome to tutorial number six on Porsche uh, 911 Carrera 4. So let's get started. So before we go uh, any further, we have little adjustment to make. What we have to do is we we'll click on this surface and we will find out which surface it is it on the table. And here we go. This sketch. Edit this sketch and press the space bar and then click on this side. We are going to see the rear side. So what we have to do is we have to align it here with the blueprint. Alright. Now click space bar again and we'll go we need the right view. get out of this sketch and what we'll do is we'll click on this surface and we need this sketch lower sketch right click and edit and make it parallel with Z axis get out of this sketch and here you can see there is a uh, there's the surface is isn't uh, in a uniform shape it's changing is a it's sort of like a dent here what we are going to do is we click on the surface and we will find out the surface on the table and we right click and we click on edit sketch press the space bar and we will we will click on the rear view and we will align it with the blueprint get out of the sketch now it is it has improved so let's Design the other surface. Go to sketch, click on 3D sketch using spline from this corner to there. Press escape, go to the rear view, and click on move entities. Click this point, and then using this, uh, this arrow, move it along x axis and drag it little upwards and right click on ok let's take a right view alright select this and hold control and select this one make it a tangent here little bit more alright ok now we'll go to 3D sketch again click on this spline we will join this point with this point press escape now we will now we have a closed um, section here and we will bring a surface here what we'll do is we'll go to loft click on this uh, edge and this sketch and here guide curve right click selection manager select this side this side this one and this little one and click ok and then we we'll click on this one. All right. Okay. This surface is is good. And then we we'll click on save. 
and now we are going to uh, design the the rear portion for that what we'll do is we'll go to right plane sketch click on spline and from this corner to this corner I mean uh, here press escape Let's take a rear view look. Alright, it's perfect. Get out the sketch and using 3D sketch, we using spline, I mean from this point to this corner. Press escape and then we'll, we'll take a top look, top view, and we'll align it with the blueprint. Alright, get out of the sketch and here using fill surface we'll fill this uh, closed loop where it is fill surface click on this one this one this one this one and this one you have the surface and before you uh, actually want to see this we have you should have check this fix a boundary and you'll get that feature while you are selecting all that it will uh, show you the surface all right click ok our surface is very fine let's hide the rear view for a second there you can see surface is absolutely good all right let's take the top view Okay, let's create the next surface and go to 3D sketch using spline, not 3D sketch, get out of the sketch. We're going to draw it on the right plane, the right plane using spline from this corner to this. Let's take a rear view. Turn on the rear view. All right. Let's align it. Get out of the sketch and go to 3D sketch again from spline here. From this point to this point. Press escape. Go to the top view and start matching it with the blueprint. Take a right view. Alright, I need to lift this one a little bit. Go to rear view and here you can see.
get on the sketch and let's add a surface over here using loft selection manager this and this one click OK and do this one with the guide curve in this curve and in this surface Lock isn't working, so let's use boundary surface selection manager from this, these two edges, and the directions that and this one. Let's hide the rear view. All right, it's okay. All right. Let's add one more surface, the lower surface. Right sketch. I'm going to sketch on the right plane and using spline from this this would go to rear view all right and to lift it a little upwards Alright, get out of this sketch and again 3D sketch from this corner to this edge. Go to top view. Long along X axis. Let's hide the rear view. Alright. Now we can add a surface over here using the fill surface. This one, this one, this one. The surface is absolutely fine so and don't forget to click on save icon here so see you in the next tutorial guys and but, but before we go let's see how our card looks like we'll go to features mirror and click on the right plane for the reference body to mirror and click on all these surfaces so we can see how our car actually looks because that's very important okay click ok there you go The surface finish is absolutely good and I think we are making a good looking car. Yeah. Alright. So if you have any doubt uh, in this video or any video, just uh, type your doubts in the in the comment box and I'll reply it as soon as possible and see you in the next tutorial and keep practicing.